Good Friday afternoon, everyone. It's Sheila here in Boho Daydreams, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to just say right off, um, excuse my hands, because I was in the lavender dye pot this morning. And it's very beautiful hanging over there in front of my window drying. But it's left my fingers looking very cyanotic, and it's not a good look on camera. Anyway, it's Friday again, and I thought Tuesday was Friday. Um, and then the rest of my week kind of just went downhill from there. <laughs> I've been without internet now for two days, which means I have no Wi-Fi at all here in my studio. And my phone plan, I only have one gig of data. And I have a Canadian plan because it's more economical for me, especially when I travel to Canada um, quite often. And so I can't really post any pictures and I can't watch any YouTube. So uh, if I haven't watched your videos, um, that's why. I'll have a lot of catching up to do. Anyway, I just quickly wanted to pop in and um, just show you some of the pretty combinations of beads I prepared before I show you this. Um, so I'm just going to pop this up. I'm Sheila Genrich, and my email is scoghill4 at gmail.com, and Facebook group is Boho Daydreams, and I'm going to link all of that in the description box. But this week, um, I've been a little bit busy chasing papers, and so I couldn't chase papers for the last couple of days because it's been cold and a bit rainy, so then I sat at the, the desk and played with some beads. So I have a few bead strands available. See these hands? That's what I'm apologizing for. I have a few bead strands available, if anyone would like a bead strand. And then um, I curated some beautiful pink collections. And these are all, um, these are all claimed. These were all pre-orders, but I just wanted to show you how pretty they are. I just love them. They're so soft, such so soft pink. And then there was also, I had enough, I have enough for a few teal type packages. And I think I have enough for a couple of uh, this type of a purple package. I didn't know I had enough purples to do this, but I have enough for just a couple more. They're so pretty, I love them. And then, um, I was asked to do a vintage package. And so I went through my beads looking for anything that would look um, a little more uh, vintage-like. And I thought that was good. And then I also had um, a boho uh, bead package. I'm, I'm so sorry for my hands, seriously. Um, I thought this would come off when I scrubbed them and it did a little bit, but not that much. So I'm hoping that you can see the beauty of the beads if you can just look past my terrible hands. So this here is the uh, boho package. And I got to use some of the beads that I don't normally get to use, like the red ones and the orange ones and a bead like that. It's really happy. I think they look, I think they look great. All right, so we're going to toss that aside. Now this is why I actually um, am doing the video. I want to show you a journal that my friend Deborah Pruitt prepared for me. While I was in isolation in Canada, she, um, she asked if we could do a journal swap. And I said yes. And I brought everything along to actually make a journal in her color. And then I never got to do it. And now that I'm home, yes, I did. I did spill coffee on my, on my doily. Uh, but it just kind of, to me, it kind of looks like it's all part of the crafting scheme. Anyway, so she got her journal done for me and sent to me, but I haven't gotten one made for her. But that's the journal that I'm going to be working on as soon as I get caught up here and clear off that table. So she made a beautiful little card. She says, I hope you love the journal. XOXO Deborah. So the journal came in a box and the box was filled with this. So I noticed that it was sitting in this doily 
And so I thought I would leave it on. I've picked out a billion pieces like this from, from her package. She made sure it was getting here safely. Um, and it, it did. It arrived in one piece full of paper. Paper bits. I love it. So she sent along a doily. A very, very lacy type of crochet doily. And this beautiful, um, beautiful, I think it's a napkin. So beautiful. And then it was wrapped up in this beautiful Battenberg and Mint uh, towel. It's a little guest towel. I'm just going to leave it like this. And then it came like this. And look at the beautiful cover. Oh my goodness. Look at all these. These are individually appliqued on. And then she attached some pink pearls. And the spine is just beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then beautiful paper. And she asked me my colors. And yes, these are my colors. I love, I love pink. I love creamy pink. And I love aqua. So here is a silk tie. It's probably one of my silk ties that I have created over time. And then she has this beautiful opening with one of these beautiful uh, bead collages. Oops. So pretty on the inside. The papers are beautiful. Just beautiful. Now look at all the lace that she's used. Gorgeous. I'm not going to take everything out. Well, maybe I will take this out because it's so pretty. Oh, I love that. I love that. What you've collaged on here. It's so pretty. And there's more bits in there. Deborah has been an admin in my group from the very beginning. Then she took a little break, and then she came back. <laughs> and so she's like my twinsy. I call her twinsy because we have so much in common. Um, this is a beautiful envelope that's decoupaged, and then she has it uh, paper clipped in. Ooh, no, I'm not going to take it out. But you can see the beautiful, beautiful lace that she has attached to this and she's even done some sewing good for you deborah for doing some sewing oh, this page is just beautiful i hope it's hope you can see it beautiful card and she's got some lovely paper in there i love it that's vellum that's attached that's a sturdy paper but I think yes it is it's a pocket on top oh, I love that lace Isn't that beautiful these are definitely my colors love that oh I know that Deborah doesn't like pink and while she was preparing this journal for me she invested in a lot of pink things she said that she this was supposed to be a two signature journal but after she prepared the one signature there was just no room left at all for um the second signature that's so funny so she could make another journal with the other signature it's beautiful and stuffed and the glitter on there isn't that pretty it's a little dangle pocket with some fun stuff in it it's another stuffed pocket oh a flip out oh I love that look at that. that's so pretty I love it Deborah has a oh I have to show you this look how pretty this is oh I love it it's a vellum lady but it's just so pretty. Deborah has um, decided she is going to prepare lace bundles for our group. Um, and she says, mine's in the mail. Yippee! Because um, if there's one thing that I love is vintage and antique lace. So you see different lace packages that I put onto my YouTube. 
I do it so that I remember what was in my lace package so that I can go back and, and look at it again. Because sometimes I, I um, misplace my stuff. It's just nice to go back and see what was in what package. The beautiful little shaker. Love that. Some math in there. So my beautiful favorite type of lace is eyelet. I love, love, love eyelet. So pretty. Deborah, you did an amazing job with this. Let's see. The beautiful dangle. And more vintage lace. I think that one's a little bit stuck together. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I'm not tearing it apart on camera. All those layers of lace there. So pretty. Oopsie. <laughs> Evidence. Evidence that I actually didn't get all of that paper. Anyway, this beautiful journal is from Deborah. I want you all to be watching out for her beautiful lace bundles that she's going to be curating for us to enjoy. I think that um, she's had a lot of pre-orders already. So if you're in the market for a, for a bundle of lace, um, message, message Deborah, and I will link her in the description box also so you can find her and see what she's all about with her laces. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye.